Welcome to AI Protopia, I'm Eden. In today's video, we're delving into Apple's endeavor in the AI realm with its project Ferret. As we navigate through the intricacies of Ferret, we question whether it's a groundbreaking leap or a late dash in the competitive AI landscape. Ferret's Unveiling Apple's Ferret, a multimodal open-source AI, stands out for processing not just text, but images, sounds, and videos. It's particularly acclaimed for its prowess in image analysis, potentially surpassing GPT-4 in this arena. Developed in collaboration with Columbia University, Ferret represents Apple's ambitious step into sophisticated AI technology. While Ferret's lab achievements are commendable, Apple joins the AI race at a point where giants like OpenAI, Google, and others have significantly advanced. Currently, Apple stores don't offer products with AI capabilities comparable to these industry leaders. This positions Apple as a challenger striving to catch up in a race where competitors are continually evolving. It's a tough position to be in but not insurmountable. Apple has never been a company to take lightly. History reminds us that lab successes don't always translate to market victories, as seen with Google's Gemini. In the competitive world of technology and AI, companies often use benchmarks to highlight the strengths of their products and, sometimes, to cast competitors in a less favorable light. This practice is not uncommon in industries where technological prowess is a key selling point. Benchmarks are used as a way to quantitatively demonstrate a product's capabilities, but they can be selectively chosen or presented in a way that puts the company's product in the best possible light. This approach can be seen in various sectors, from computer hardware, like CPUs and GPUs, to software applications, including AI models. For example, a company might choose to showcase benchmark results that highlight its product speed, accuracy, or efficiency in scenarios where it performs exceptionally well, while downplaying or omitting areas where it might be less competitive. It's important for consumers and professionals in the field to approach benchmarks critically. While they can provide valuable insights into a product's capabilities, they don't always tell the whole story. Factors like real-world usage, compatibility, user experience, and cost-effectiveness can also be crucial in determining the practical value of a technology product. In the context of AI development, like Apple's Ferret AI, benchmarks might show impressive results in controlled tests or specific tasks. However, the true test of an RE's capabilities often lies in its versatility, adaptability, and performance in a wide range of real-world applications, which may not be fully captured by standard benchmarks. Understanding the nuances and contexts of these benchmarks is key to getting a balanced view of a product's capabilities and how it compares to others in the market. The true test for any AI technology, including Ferret, lies in its real-world application and user experience. Apple's challenge with Ferret will be not just in unveiling an AI model, but in ensuring it excels in practical, everyday use. Apple's foray into AI with Ferret, while potentially transformative, is a race against rapidly evolving technology. Our purpose today is certainly not to bash Apple. On the contrary advancements in AI will benefit us all. We wish Ferret the best and are looking forward to seeing what it can do once incorporated into Apple devices. One thing to remember, the tech world waits for no one, in fact. Shane, if you ain't first, you're last. You know, don't talk about...